Dang. Okay. Well, I'm back. Um, I imagine that a handful of you are probably not going to get reconnected to stream, which is fine. Um, yeah, my computer's having a little fit, I guess. Uh, I do actually just want to finish this for the sake of I don't want to not watch it. <laughs> It'd suck to have a stream where I started one small thing and got nothing done. So I'm gonna see if I can finish it. We're back in. And we're gonna check out this whole billboard thing again. So we're gonna go straight into boats. Um, repair it. Welcome back. Um, so, this is not doing anything. Creates a new component and assigns ownership to the actor. Automatic attachment causes the first component to create a root. this thing size to a thousand in absolute scale and instead of relative transform scale because that might have been the issue possibly Let's see. 
mode in the world offset. Okay. Fuck it up. Let's see. Shift and shader. I'll add a material billboard component in the blueprint. Shader manage. Okay. Okay, so let's just try a um, material billboard component instead of billboard component. I don't know. Speed up internet? No, that's definitely not what I want, actually. Well, let's check this out in a different way. So let's make a blueprint on its own, just for now. Um, we'll make a actor, and this will be test billboard actor. Uh, no spaces are allowed. You can't just turn it into an underline for me. That's fine. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to make a cube, and then I'm going to add a billboard. Let's see. And then we're going to make our sunk sure you bring that up so in here that's working perfectly um, so let's go ahead and drag that actor into our world and here might be where the problem lies because all of a sudden no yeah we we still see sunk it looks great it's scaled appropriately um, so something isn't working correctly when we try to call this um, one of the things could be that it's not getting the um, correct actor, or another could be it's not getting the actor's location at all. Um, or it's not updating the actor's location, I should say. So let's go back in there and try this one more time. Um, let's do add billboard component. Target should be self. Um, manual attachment. Tell me about that. Billboard component. Did I get extra options there? No. There's like nothing useful in documentation. Relative transform between the new component and its attached parent. Um. Okay. So again. Gonna go into sunk. Okay. Mm. Simulate instead of doing standalone game. It should. Be. Oh, well, there's an issue. So when I actually run the game here, the uh, billboard disappears. Billboard disappearing when game is started. Revive. Solved. There's a little checkbox on by default called after hitting the game. That better not be the issue I'm having. That would make me annoyed. Hidden in game. Oh my god. That better not be it over here, too. <laughs> okay. Let's try that. And then we'll we'll add um transform. We'll add the like 30 or whatever again. And scale it up so that we can actually see it, even if it's just the size for real. Okay, we might have just fixed our issue right there. So let's go ahead and simulate this. No, we still don't see this one. Um, we did compile and save those changes. This one still has hidden in game. Okay, maybe that was the issue. Okay, awesome. So we do see, still see that. Um, uh, one issue though is that, as is the truth with other ones, it seems like it's 
gaining some brightness or lightness, I should say, due to one or more of my post-processing volumes or something. When I click play, it gains a shade lighter, which isn't ideal, um, but that is working now. So let's see if we can, um, see if we can get the billboard to appear on a different ship. Because that would be the goal that we set today. No, no billboard still. Ooh, it had some ship loot though, so that's cool. Uh, the uh, splash from cannons hitting the water looks pretty good though, actually. That big ship really just doesn't go down. So there's the tiny, I mean, that is pretty small, so maybe 10 times scale wasn't enough? Or maybe it's underwater. So we'll test those things one more time. We're gonna make this 200. So, after you spawn the inventory crates, you're gonna add a billboard component. Um, even though, yes, that might be a little bit under the water, it should now be absurdly large, so that should make up for it. It should be 200 times the size of the other one. Okay, so it is just not adding in properly, I think. Almost 100% confirm. So the next thing we can do um, is we can get location. We're gonna plug that in here, and then we're going to get that guy. And we're going to get ourselves a second print string. I think we want to set the duration to zero. Um, I think that's how we get it so that they stay on the screen forever in the same spot. So that should only happen after we sink a ship. So let's try that again. Oh, it slow mode. Oh, interesting, because the slow-mo is there, it's giving us weird issues with um, pretty limited amount of time to figure this out at this point. Uh, okay, yeah, the, um, the Z values are 500 different. So the first one should be the ship's location, and the second one should be the thingy's location. So we need to add like 300 or something to Z value. Now we can try that and see if that does anything. Uh, I'm trying to not like lose hope here because I haven't seen anything. Oh. That one still is much deeper, even though we have it increasing the value or whatever.
Let's take a look at the settings again and see if there's anything in there that would make sense. <clears throat> guess of just making it absurdly big, I guess. Um, because it's getting the X and Y location correct, but we're just not seeing anything at all. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder if what's happening here is it's just immediately destroying the actor, and we're not even seeing the component, because this is a component of this actor. So what if we add a like five second delay here before we destroy the actor? Um, I suppose there's also cleanup. Not sure what cleanup does, I need to check on that. Still nothing. It's not anywhere to be seen at all. Um, okay, so the next thing we can do, look at cleanup. End nav components. That's fine. What if we get rid of the slow mo? Let's try that. <sighs> okay, so that's interesting. After getting rid of the slow mo, the um, location of the two things seem to be exactly the same. This is a lot harder than that would be. Okay, we've officially found something. So we needed to use this scale after all. That took way too long, unfortunately, for me to figure out. The whole, the whole world logged off before I figured that out. Sunk! Okay. So we should, and maybe this goes down to 20. We're 
remove the slow-mo code for now entirely. I don't think it's useful, unfortunately, if this is what we can replace it with, and we if we can get it to, if we can solve the little z-axis situation. Do -do 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 -do. Song. Cool, that looks great. Uh, it's just in the friggin' water. So, let's see if that would change it. That's the first time I had clouds come up. Mm, okay. So now the question is, could we add a timeline? And make this UI. Track, float track. Uh, UI rise. Start at. Well, I think we do want to start at like zero, one, three hundred, and then maybe one and a half. We add one. or something. Is it? I don't, uh, if you couldn't tell, I don't know how it works. Um, again, UI rise, and then we do from start, update that. That would be cool if that works, because that would be the first time I've done a timeline correctly on the first try. Oh god, that's not what we wanted it to be. Oh, we added a new one every single time instead of just moving it, that's pretty funny. Um, So what if we do that, and then, wait, 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 spaghetti, you know. So we add it here, and then we, play from start, split struct, split struct. this. Okay, that seems better. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know why there's... I wonder if that's a... No, it's definitely not a reflection, right? But it's staying forever, too. Oh, God. It crashed it. Oh, God. Did I get the... No, I didn't get this last time. So why is it keeping one underwater, I guess, is the thing I don't really get. I think I want it to not have any reflections, and I feel like there was a rendering thing. Reflective captures. fighter infinitely. What are we doing wrong? Um, get display name? Well, that's obviously not what we wanted. So that's kind of a... We did, were doing that wrong the whole time. Um, okay. I don't know if we need this delay anymore. The only thing. Oh, sweep to condition? Oh. <laughs> uh. We don't need timeline at all. We can just take. Okay, hold on. Get relative transform. Split struct, split struct. Plus. Boom. Now we don't need a friggin' timeline getting in the way. And then we can do maybe down to two for each of these. For now, let's see what that looks like. Yes, okay. Dead sunk. Okay, so that just didn't work. Um, that ship is also not destroyed. Again. Okay, that's the stream, guys. Guy. Um, thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna call it and go to bed. So, thanks for hanging out today. I'll try to stream again sometime this week. I did not get very much done on this one, but getting back into it. See you guys. Just thanks for hanging out. <laughs>